from other men. Okay. This is a man. Okay, that was uh, the remix version. He in this song he made two men. You think? It was like joining the military. Um, what made you feel that way? You know, that was the whole two men thing, and transgenders can't go in the military. I was just trying to yeah. throw in a joke against the wall. Hey, I'm Lewis Dix. <laughs> TDP. Uh, John Lemon is on his grind. Again? Again. You should be making coffee. You grind again. it so much. Again. Again. Um, <laughs> what's the name of this? Tighten up your belts or something? In a man's like? world. You're not a man yet. Let us walk you through the steps. And come on, y'all. Do you don't remember well, your catchphrase? Well, if you're phrase? not, after hearing, as long as this opening song was, you should be a man. <laughs> now you're getting like the millennials. Time is just... Three minutes too long. It's been... It's been what, challenging. Maybe? It's been challenging three weeks. Oh, your voice is a little, um, a little. How can I say? A little. Um, First, I want to say to the men out there who are going through it. What through what? The tunnel. Just challenges. Just oh, okay. You know, just, just, just really, just every trying. day. Every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been a mental strain. It's funny. I called my mom this morning, and I said, "Hey, how you doing?" And I was trying to. You know, just say hi and all that. But mothers know. Okay, yeah. You know, I was just saying, hey, how you doing? How's everything? And asking about everybody. Mm -hmm. I had to remember my third sister, my second sister. Because <laughs> I asked about my brother and my sister. And then I, oh, I got to ask about her, too. So I asked about her. That's the one who has been built her house, right? That one? That no, sister? that oh. was the first, the one who does taxes. Oh, okay. So I, and then I told my, I love you, see you later and all that. And then a few Aww. minutes later, she called back. You, you okay? Hmm. And, you know. You and, told her? No, I, I, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just I'm shook good. it off. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And I am good compared to a lot of people in this world. You don't have no flies around your mouth, that's for sure. Hey, man, compared to a lot of people. And that's the hey, thing, man. going through it, you know, um, I dropped Lou off work today and I was driving home. And I've been listening to a lot of gospel. Wait, and I've wait, actually wait, been wait going a minute, to, you dropped Lou off, did you use Waze this time? No, I'll go my <laughs> way. Just It's just my way, my mental way. He, We're done with that. Okay. He, he oh, y'all passed that? He knows not to... Not to uh, say should we do ways? He just puts his headphones on and he he's understood that 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 train is gone. Gotcha. We're not having that discussion. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, he's he's he, that, and that's that's part of a challenge of being a man of understanding right. that I, this is the way dad is going to go. Now, mm -hmm. mom, he might be able to manipulate them and Maneuver make them. That, yeah, yeah, but mm -hmm. dad is this is his way. Solid as a rock. So if I want to get to work. Via this, we're gonna do it dad's way. We're gonna we're gonna go and I'm put my headphones on. I mean, I'm not listening to Twenty One Savage or okay. any other stuff. I'm gonna listen to. Um, He's getting there on time. I'm sure of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then you 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 know I'm feeling a certain way, you know, and I'm like because you know the Carmichael show got canceled. I didn't hear about that. So you know, back on the grind, okay. like J John Lemon. So I'm you know, and I'm you know, you say all right, where's the next show? And then yeah. you're just thinking. Then you look to your right, and you'll see somebody sleeping in a, in the in the in the alleyway or sleeping in the doorway yeah, or or, yeah. or just walking crazy. And, and it made me start thinking: At what point did these people say, "I've had enough. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna just exist." Hey, when they Molly Parker set, that you, little, you know, that I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. Sorry, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I, I'm just chase a check. I, I'm, Never I'm, chase a bitch. Right. Yeah. I'm just done. Yeah. I'm done. I I'm not. Song. I'm, I'm not going to conform. I didn't even realize that was a song. Yeah, okay. Future. Oh, is that future? Okay. I just know. I future. recommend that one. I, I just, I just know future from the Kit Kat commercial. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> that's how, LD. That's how. Un, that's how uh, uninformed and out of touch I am. <laughs> you know, and sometimes I, I, you know, Chance the Rapper. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I, I know. What? It's not future. Oh, that's. Oh, so that's how out of touch I am. Yeah. That's. That's Chance the Rapper and right. Future. They're not the same person. No. Okay. <laughs> in my <laughs> mind. That's hard. In my mind there. And all right, before I go any further, Aaron Gladman. Detroit. Motor City. He just put Mr. A, meme. a meme up really funny talking about run late. Run late. <laughs> You're funny and I wish you success in your radio show. I didn't even know Aaron Gladman did a radio show. I didn't either. I, I saw that. And, then, and so he, um, he also <laughs> did a post on Facebook about Al. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
how he doesn't like playing with the young boys because they take too long to start their games, their pickup games. And I agree with them. <laughs> You know, because old heads want to get it in, and you know, who's got next? Hey, who's man, got next? Me next? I gotta check my snap. Yeah, they gotta do that. All check that. My, yeah. And, I gotta. and so I agree with you on that, Aaron. And and I hope the family's well. And his son is driving, and he's enjoying his time with his queen. But back to what I was saying. It, it, first of all, how have you been? I'm beautiful. And and we were talking about that earlier. Potus and I were saying, you know, that's the mystery man, TDP. I'm beautiful. You can't, you you drive a therapist crazy. They would just pay you. Here's the thing, yo, Dean. I told my boy this a long time ago. He's like, well, you know this lady, she's the number one therapist in the world. I said, that shit don't work if you don't say nothing. That shit don't work. They on the same planet we on, man. So how your shit, you know, greater than the shit I know already? You know, what are we, what are we really working out here? Bitch, I parked by you. You're not that good. And, hey, some people, and that's, that's you're 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 along the lines that a lot of brown people feel. We don't think you know, and it was funny because um, when I parked the car today to go back in the house, mm-hmm. this white guy was walking with his. He was an older white guy walking hand in hand with his younger white girl, and he gave me a great hello, good morning, and. Oh. And I was like, I saw it, and you know, it took shook me, and I was like, <laughs> mine wasn't as exciting as his, but I said, hey, good morning, man, have a great day, yeah. and we will. And I was like, oh, he's he's, <laughs> he's speaking for her, you know. And then I looked at, he was older, right. she was younger, and then I'm like, okay, he's he got rid of the baggage, right, right. you know, he's on his second one or third one. Mm-hmm. She's younger, she's keeping him, you know, they going he's for got a little, the right ingredient. Yeah, right they're going for a power walk, right, right, you know, right. and, and and it was really interesting and. Mm-hmm. And then I um, made the mistake and turned on the news, and um, oh, but caught a bad one. Uh, yeah, just hmm. it, it's just the thing of I wanted to say to the, you, you men out there, and, and I know it's somebody sitting there saying, "What about you women? Just listen and learn." Just you're being very general, LD. Yeah, it's just. Oh, I apologize. I mean, you know, come on. Um, this is a man thing. It's in a man's world all day long, and we're going to tighten up our belts whether you like it or not. Okay? Yeah, because you women have you, you're going to change your belt anyway. Y'all got a thousand shows. Right. A, a man. A thousand you, books. Usually keeps the same belt on all A thousand day. magazines. Yeah. Can well, we have this one thing? Um, so. One thing. If you're going through it, just look to your right and look to your left. We in church right now? Uh, and I mean, you'll see. It, it's funny because I went to a thing last night. where Church. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, Last night would be Thursday night. So what's going on at Thursday night? They It was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Um, little seminar thing that Pastor Omer had at Faithful Central. Oh, where, where's that at? It's on uh, Florence in Los Angeles. Um, oh, Inglewood. Yeah, Inglewood. It used to be in the Forum, and then they went back to. The, they couldn't afford the Forum. At the no, moment. they they bought and they sold it. They they did what they you know. And and I've been following him for a long time. Okay. Um, in the streets? No, just uh, different churches he's gone to, and, uh, okay. and I like him um, a lot. But it's a series he's doing on on on. Um, Getting in shape for God, getting in, <laughs> and winning, working out to win, and and, and getting How your hysterical. Yeah, and and I I've been going because he lets you wear sweatpants. You can wear athletic gear, so it's right up my alley. With no uh, underwear. <laughs> I mean, I mean where you get in shape for God, right? That's funny you say that because I'm I'm one of you should wear a jock strap. Right, yeah, you're, you're when old you school wear, with when that. you wear yeah. shorts you're and, and sweatpants. But it's a lot of guys who. <laughs> You know, no, it's just <laughs> I was sitting next to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you should keep your jaw secure. Right, I'm with flying you. I'm with you. you know. I'm with you on that. And uh, and it's funny because I saw, and what the girls wear yoga pants and all that too. Yeah, and I saw I forgot where I was. Um, gosh, where, where was I? Boys, I was house? somewhere, some function somewhere, and. A woman got up and she looked so hard. She was going to the bathroom and she looked like she was grabbing her joint. Okay. Just, just her stroll. Her, what bathroom her, did she go in? I, I don't. I didn't follow her all to that uh. degree. But um, so listen. Um, stay. Stay focused. Um, stay focused on what, LD? We need. We need on to self. Focus on. You got to stay focused on self. Okay. Uh, know you're going to get through it. And 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 I'm speaking to the people out there, and, and I'm speaking to myself too. Um, it's good to have someone you trust that you can, you know, lay down with and, and, mm-hmm. and know that they love you. Because back to the point of what 
what do you think makes a person who's, um, let's say, homeless or out in the streets or who's just, you know, we think, um, let's get some terms that are that are labeled to people, that they crazy, they gone. The cliche. Yeah, yeah, the cliche. They're, they're on one. They just don't care. They just, you know, silly. They just, you know, no, it's, mental. There's a, a lot of people out there who've done miraculous things on this planet who just got situationed out as far as the numbers game, as far as in a marriage, as far as taking something, as far as trying to do something and got got snatched. You know, it's it's a whole lot of, you know, things that go along with that. Because for us, we always knew it as being, as being Reaganomics. So it's been that whole Reaganomics thing, and now it's to a whole another level because Skid Row was one situation where you just had the populace that was – just there and then Ted Hayes had his situation with the um homeless thing with the igloos and all that stuff and the man had a beautiful program and he never you know gave him what he needed to make it happen because you know he got the drugs and stuff out of that situation so they disbanded that now the drugs is just there and it's it's wild it's wild and, and it's interesting because yesterday after the service I came out and out the closet? No. I, oh. I, I came out there. of the building, oh. and it was this girl there that I knew. Mm -hmm. And um, she was actually the, the girl over 25, 30 years ago that actually took me to, f invited me to Faithful Central. Okay. Back on 62nd and Hoover. Oh, wow. She was a teacher. Mm -hmm. And she invited me there. Mm -hmm. So that was, and then I happened to see her, and I was like, hey, Paris, how you doing? Da, 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 da. And, um, so this is when you was Louis Dix, like, leave me alone, Louis Dix. And, and, and I knew she liked me. Okay. We never did anything, nothing like that. Cause, I know that already. Because she was because <laughs> she was Christian, Christian. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I don't know what. This she, pussy belonged to Jesus. Right. Yeah, that gave me. <laughs> right, yeah. right. So uh, it was interesting. I saw her and, and she we were talking and mm -hmm. she was telling me how 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 great I looked. And, and she was glad that I was back to who she had met and i was like what are you talking about uh, well you were going through something yeah and i was like what she's like yeah you you i thought you was on crack you, you got you lost so much weight and yeah. all that and i was like well why didn't you say anything well I, you had people around you your circle and it made me start thinking not i wasn't on crack but i had lost no, weight keep going. <laughs> <laughs> i had lost weight and i was depressed oh and uh, this was after my divorce and everything and it was interesting that i wanted to have a deeper conversation with her, but I didn't. But I, I was, it made me start thinking, when you know something's going on with a friend or a person you know, mm -hmm. we won't say anything to them. We'll tell everybody else. Because she was saying she was having conversations with other people. Yeah. And I was like, in my brain, saying, why didn't you just ask me what was going on? Because people are two-faced cowards. That's and they're supposed to be a Christian person. Two faced the cowards, man. It don't matter what you rocking with. That's just what you, you know. That's just what it is. It's just what it is. People are not genuine like that. That's and, you know. It's funny. We have a caller, but you don't. Know, before we take the call, it's funny how For on most what? most shows, radio shows, they make the the callers wait. We get right to them because <laughs> we love them. You I know, mean, you we, know we, most the time, time they, they, they have to that's be a, a good hold. feeling. So, uh, caller. Well, let's put them on hold a little bit. We done praised them all. Good right. afternoon. All right, who's this? This morning over here, what you want? Oh, man, I'm down here in hot Florida. Hot Florida. Hot Florida. Who, who is this? What's your name? Uh, My name is Sylvester. Sylvester. Sylvester, yeah. really? That's your first time calling, long time listening to that shit? <laughs> hey, for real. What's I've up? I've been y'all since the foxhole. First time calling. All right, what's up, Sylvester? What part of Florida you in? Uh, I'm in the hot part. The hot part? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it's Orlando, Orlando. Oh, well, okay. welcome. So, what's going on, buddy? Not much. Also, to speak to you guys, like I said, I've been listening to y'all since Foxo, Lou Dix, TDP, uh, and excited, of course. But uh, I've been listening to the show, or I was listening to the last week's show, and I, I just had some, some things I wanted to say. It's like, uh, I wanted to say, is, uh, is John Lemon there? No, he's, he's on assignment right now. Ah, oh, assignment what? At home, sleep like the dude's floor? Girl... <laughs> Why they be on Jeff, man? <laughs> well, what did uh, you have to no, say? Okay. Said he will pass it on. I'm sure he's uh, listening. Yeah, to he, us. he listens. Yeah. Well, I, I was trying to equate. How did y'all get the R. Kelly thing equated with Donald Trump? 
if R. Kelly's been doing that for three or four years when Obama was in office. When R. Kelly's been doing what? With the thing he's been doing with women? Yeah. Well, I mean, not the same women. That's been since he was born. But anyway. Well, we equated that because Donald Trump has been Donald Trump for years. You know, what Donald Trump is doing now in office is just highlighted. He's been doing, he's been acting that way. I mean, he's 70 years old. So he's been acting that way for a long time. You know, as far as his disrespect for women and minorities. So what perturbed you that John Lemon said about comparing Obama and um, or Trump with R. Kelly? What, what did you find issue with? It's, uh, it's like every time something has come out of America that's kind of going bad right now, it's all blamed on Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. So not did, saying Trump is a good guy, not saying Trump is, you know, you know, the best thing that ever happened to America or the worst. It's just I don't see how that how the, how those two things connect. Hmm. Well, I think a lot of the th- the things that people attribute to Trump now is the tone. The the tone the pitch of and the delivery. You know, the tone of, of America and the attitude that a lot of people have and the expression that people now feel more comfortable. You know, it's well, like we got our country back, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's like he he highlighted and, and, and allowed people to be more expressive about their negative feeling, the negativity. I think that's why a lot of people are attributing that to, to Trump. And, and, and one thing I must say is he won. Now, that's the thing. He, he won. Um, he just got some jobs in Wisconsin, but mm-hmm. they get three billion dollar tax. So, yeah. yeah. So I mean, that that's 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 rich man money. That's dealing their way. Mm-hmm. But I, I think you're. I agree with you. I think uh, I everybody's well. throwing thing. Anything that happens, we're throwing it right on Trump. But keep in mind, that's the same thing they were doing with Obama. Everything that was going on in America went right back to got thrown back at Obama from their side. Right. I mean, do you agree or not, Sylvester? I agree. I agree. I agree. So I think it's when you're top dog, you know, I hey. mean, that's that's what happens, you know. The, the Hey. And now are you the he- are you head of your household? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm uh I've been married for I want to talk to y'all about too. I I've, I've been married now for 9 years with my son. Uh my wife is actually 8 years younger than me just like the brother the call last week, he said his wife, well, his girlfriend was eight years younger than him. Jeremy, he's probably not that good. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's working fine for us. Now, now, let me ask you a question. Given that, my now, do you notice being the head of your household how a lot of things fall on you? Good, yeah. bad, indifference. Well, you know, all the bad falls on me. All the good goes to her. Okay. I, that, there you go, and, and sometimes, <laughs> and and I'm sure sometimes you sit in your space by yourself, saying, "Hey, hold up, hold up." What about me? Yeah, I mean, this is. Don't I get a little bit? How old is your son? Uh, my son is five. Mm. No, that's a good age. You're, you're. I was. You know, that's funny. That's such a. When they're younger, because my son and I were walking to the car this morning, on his way to work, and. I start thinking about, wow, here's this 24-year-old young man. Yeah. I remember when he was five, I would be carrying him or he'd be on my shoulders. Mm-hmm. And that's gone. So enjoy that, <laughs> Sylvester, because it goes by so fast. Yeah. Okay. You know, enjoy okay. it. And thank you for calling, man. And, and no problem. I just wanted to say, in those quiet moments when I'm like, what about me? I send my wife a text and tell her to come over. Okay, that, that that fell flat, but we'll... It, is, uh, it happens. Yeah. No, You're the master of them, so no, it happens. No. Oh, you would know. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Sylvester, that was Too a good one. So. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. All right. All right. He got Sylvester he, from Hot Florida and me, Apollo Legend. He got me on that He got one. you. Yeah, that was He wasn't going to get Apollo Legend until he got you. Yeah, he, that was a good one, <laughs> Sylvester. He seems like a happy young man. Mm-hmm. Um, dealing with... Some, let's see, uh, that goes to the point of he's got... a. A wife that's eight years younger than him, so yeah. she brings that great energy, and not that old lady energy. Right. Because there's a lot of older women who bring old lady in. I mean, the, no. Here's a point to to what was said. It's it's that you get credit for all the bad stuff, and she get praises for all the good stuff. So it doesn't matter what the age range is. You know. Yeah, that's it, like Mother's Day and Father's Day. Right. The guys got to always take those arrows. But right. It's like, but 
Can we get it where the women will say, okay, I am getting the praise. He is getting all the negative. But can I just turn to him and, and make it good for him some type of way to just let him know, baby, I know you're taking these arrows for me, and I'm getting all the glory. Now, you'll get that a little bit on your birthday, Christmas, and depends on, and that depends on what gift you give her. Valentine's Day, there's certain days that... I understand that. that what I'm saying is to the build up to all the stuff that's just going on all the time. Like, no. you're taking enough arrows not to get them all yanked out of you on your birthday. No, it's kind of like that that Muhammad Ali picture on Esquire. Um, Hands up. No, when he had the bow and arrows in the mm, 70s. Yeah, when Esquire, they had all those, yes, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... Taking the arrows. I mean, that's 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 definitely manhood in, 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 a, in, a, in a picture. And to okay. the point of that, that's what's putting a lot of these guys out on the street, too, LD. Not being strong and enough to withstand those. Those arrows. arrows. And it's interesting because you can see the arrows... Oh, in them, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can see it. You can see them. Their pain, and 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 because it's interesting when you look to the right or left, and I'm using that as a metaphor. When you look to the right or left and mm -hmm. you see someone struggling, you have a. It's funny. Your brain goes a different way. Your mind thinks differently when you look at a man or when you look at a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at a man, you figure he needs to get himself together. When you look at a woman... Or you could be like, that could be me out there when nobody give a fuck about Right. It. When you look at a woman, you like, who did her wrong? It's more of a why. Your heart, you know, just your heart goes Compassion. out to a more. Yeah. Where a man, you like, you know... And it's interesting because I, I, we drive down Olympic Boulevard and we go through Beverly, Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And I saw this, like, really destitute white guy walk in. Mm -hmm. And he looked dirty and all that, but he was walking through Beverly Hills. Right. And then I saw this black guy who was in athletic gear and looked comfortable and happy. <laughs> and right, and I thought they'll pull him over before they pull that bum over, you know. And you know what's wrong? I would say this too. It's wrong. Like you see brothers over there running and everything, and and like I say, if they like they, if they are hitting the corner or whatever, they, you know, they jog and they got all the stuff on and everything. And you do look behind and say, "Where the police at?" Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. You have that to is jog, terrible. You have to jog a non. That's funny when you have to jog non threatening. Right. You can't look over your shoulder. You, you know, I mean, that guy just got to just be in that whole little one little. They can't be looking around. And then and they got to get to the stoplight and run in place <laughs> and have the have right. right. They have to have all the neon gear on to say, "I'm safe." I'm safe. I'm right. not gonna harm. You know what I mean? Right. That's that's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. Because you still get looks as a black man from. White people, in, even when you're in your car and you're in there in their car, even if your car is better, you know they still lock the door. Mind. Yeah, they look at you like. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's interesting, and, and that's that's an arrow too. No, we kill me. They they car be dirty as shit, barely can see out the window, and they're looking at you with disdain. Right, and that's the word I was looking for. They and that's that's what really must beat you down as a disdain. as a man. Is is that why why am I getting that dis, that look of disdain from you when? I haven't done anything to you. Nothing. So, uh... That's what we're dealing with. 323-293. For what? 3375. They, they put the number back up. Thank you. What'd you just say? She can't talk because the, um... The listener Fact said freedom. that she was, um... Interjecting too much into the show. Who said so, that? So she got in her feelings. Who said that? So she, she's just been... Whoever just, said it, right on! <laughs> she's just been mouthing. <laughs> she's just been mouthing stuff to us. She won't... She won't you go, it. boo! Whoever said that. <laughs> they were like, this is the man's world. And, and I want to thank my poets. show warriors out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and truly want to thank all of you, you, you listeners. We um, do. Um, and if you... Like I said, th things are going to get better. No, and I keep not. telling myself no, that. I, I, I keep telling... You you have to believe, and that's the one thing I've been getting from the service is that you you can't just trust him in good times. You got to trust him when you go. What's that through. line you always say? Going through the tunnel. What you say? If you're going through fire, you just got to keep walking or something like that. No, you say going through the tunnel. It's a light at the. Oh yeah, there, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it's a train coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna get bad. You man. better beware of it. You better be. Sometimes it is. Sometimes that light is not the good light. Um, especially it hits you right in the eye. Listen. Um, it's we're, we're almost through July. This again, another year. Summer, gone. Summer. Kid, people are going to be going back to school soon. You know, you, young kids are getting ready for college, or you know, some people are are leaving the home for the first time, and you parents are dealing with that. 
Um, Let's talk about that. Getting emotional now because mm-hmm. you, you know, you're one. You were excited that they got accepted to college, and you know, you're able to, to financially <laughs> handle it, or they got a scholarship. So, and you know, and this and is then the, there's the flip side too. There's some who. There's the flip side too, where the father has worked his life, his ass off, and all that to get his daughter into a situation to go to college, and then the mom says. No, you can do this. You don't have to do that. And then they pass on the scholarship. Right. There is always that one parent, male or female, who you don't understand their decision. It's kind of selfish. Right. And, and you're right. right. You know, the, the dads put his work in. And, and moms, too. Cause, no, no. More of the dad. The dad. Because like, he's like, this is my focus. This is I'm locked in on this, and I want my baby girl. She don't have to, you know, to do... Right, you know, she hasn't, and, 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 and she's she's not pregnant. She doesn't right. have a kid. Same thing with the son. You 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 dodged that bullet, mm-hmm. and now got him a car and all that, and then the he come the twist. Right, and it's interesting too for you guys who are just give me some advice. Um, um, when you do get to college and you start meeting their friends, get their friends' phone numbers and lock it in the phone. So if you can't contact them, you'll be able to contact them. Have another friend older person that you trust follow them on social media Mm because they're going to block you but that's one of the ways especially these millennials that you know that they're okay and again because they post so much save some more money so you can have some just fly on the ass in emergency situation yeah you're gonna need that you're gonna have to put away you you might as well start booking it now Mm -hmm. um they don't have to come home thanksgiving especially if you can't afford it if you can fine but, you right. know, let them come home Christmas for that two weeks and mm-hmm. New Year's. And, um, and and keep in mind, you know, that care package. It's really important to send them a care package, especially that first two years of college. Some oodles and noodles. Yeah, just stuff that you know makes them think of home. One of the things I did was when we um, took the kids, to, to, when they first went to college, mm-hmm. I gave, I got a picture of, myself and, and Lewis and a picture of myself and Peyton mm-hmm. and I put it in and I wrapped it and gave it to him. With you in it? Yeah. So they Very can put it in there. Narcissistic of you? No, it was, it was <laughs> us. It was a, it was a moment this from growing up you. where they can just, you know, and they put it in their dorm room because they, you know, as a dad you have to do that because they're going to have a picture of mom. Right. You got to Make so sure. when their friends come over and see the picture, like, oh, who's the clown guy you guys are standing with? Right, they're like, yeah, that's my dad. Because you, you, I'm not gonna hang this picture up anymore. Right, but they, they, they're gonna be really lonely, and 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 that care package is really important. And um, make sure if they are in a city or state, I don't think they're gonna be that lonely. You, that you I have, want to address no, that. It's, it's lonely. It's it's lonely. Oh, they're away from you. But it, you still, you still, it's, a, it's, it's. They lonely for your nagging. No, not not so much you. They are lonely from home for home. That they're they're leaving the they're nest. Old friends and all that. Yeah, they leave and the routine. And I think that's what you you miss. You miss the routine. Not all of them. They want that freedom. Yeah, freedom. No, freedom is good, and they mm-hmm. they they enjoy that for about nineteen hours of the day. Okay. That that other five hours. You got to study. Yeah, and that and they got to. You know, because there's, it's kind of just like starting high school over. You know, you got to get new friends, and you you might hopefully you've you've worked at, you know, working on your social skills, and you've learned See, how to that's navigate thing that too. Now with the whole social media, so if you if you got a bad reputation coming out of high school, going into college, that could tear you tear somebody up as well. Yeah. You know. Well, you got to keep your your garden tool under check. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, it's it's the girls got to, you know, you can't become a garden tool when you get there. Because the, cause the one thing is that the juniors and senior boys are going to be on you. Because they know the routine. They, 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 they know the yeah. freshmen and the sophomores just want to be accepted. Right. And, you know, it's a lot of going on. Yeah. So um, it's a lot of hanky panky. And, and you just got to be careful because the, the underage drinking. You know, you really just got to be... That's why you got to have someone that you trust follow them on social media. Because one thing about these young people, they're so dumb, they put everything out there. Hmm. They just don't have a clue. They put everything out there. Um, so do you get the good stuff at like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning? Or is it like just during the day? It doesn't matter. No, they, they just, just put it out. Anytime. Yeah, okay. anytime. Anytime. I mean, especially if they... 
you know the whole Instagram thing and you oh, know yeah. they they the pictures and Snapchat, which mm. they think it only lasts for two days or whatever. So they think they can put anything on because it's going to go away. Right. They right. really believe that that ignorance. Yeah, they've been set up. So um, there's a lot going on in everybody's life. So you know, okay, she she put her finger up to talk. Fact, Frida. Um, I'm in demand, according to the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical. No, I just wanted to say, I read last night that Justin Bieber canceled his tour because he found Jesus. Yeah. and, and He's been he? hanging out with um, some so new age pastor. All of us have been looking for Jesus, and Justin Bieber is, is the only one who's found him. Well, he has <laughs> enough hits to find him. So, okay, so yeah, I read that. Not that I care. Um, oh, wow. I mean, Justin I think Bieber. this guy is tied with the basketball player Kylie Irving, too. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie, Kyrie yeah. Kyrie. I met a Kyrie Irving, very nice young man. Who's tied with him? The the same pastor. And that's so this same pastor told Kyrie to to, to, to get a trade. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know, but Jesus Justin, do? I saw a video with him with uh, Justin Bieber uh, last night. It was it was a bit odd to me. But first of all, it's a bit odd that that Justin Bieber has, like we're all minorities. We're, we're, we're the majority, but just financially. But the fact that financially we are the the minority, fact that yeah. two two black men, I I I can speak, I can only speak for myself. Mm-hmm. I don't really care about Justin Bieber. Why not? I, I, he's, How do, you know what? And then it's like everybody saying he's saying because he did that he's turning his back on black people. But we don't <laughs> we don't care who, about who, Justin Bieber. Yeah. No, uh, this excuse is just me, some I the, do. Well, who <laughs> this is just some of the stuff I've been comments I've been seeing. But to me, um, Justin Bieber was discovered by Usher. Correct. And so to me, a black man finally came up off of a white boy, if you ask me. But I don't know. Mm. Wait a minute. That's okay. how I mean. That's how I kind of. That's a way to look at it. I Usher guess. gets money from Justin Bieber. Yeah, he discovered him. Justin Bieber was on YouTube. And yeah, he discovered him from YouTube. So yeah. uh, Justin Bieber signed a contract with Usher. Mm-hmm. With Herpy Entertainment. <laughs> what? You know what, Teeter? <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> now, and, and, and that's funny because I, I, and it's so hard when you read social media for for news. I don't read it. I don't. That's why I'm, I can't. They, I can't. This whole Usher thing is just. I like Usher. I met Usher when he was 13 years old. I, I love Usher. Did you kiss him? I didn't kiss him. <laughs> he was a respectable young man. That's when he was doing his first album tour where he had the 13 jersey that was uh, it was steeler colors, uh, black and yellow. Do you think this is going to affect I don't think this is going to affect his career at Who, all, Usher? to be honest. No, I don't. It's, it's already affected a number of people. <laughs> yeah. You went, you went hit away from just being the man again. That's all it takes. I mean, he's, he's really a good dude. I and it's know. funny because I truly believe that women are still going to have sex with him. They will. They have sex with you. Look at you. Don't have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about that, that part? That was a good one. I <laughs> mean, you, I think so. I think so. I mean, to me, women still have it's some. I, I'm sure. Well, I don't know. Some people some with women HIV. Are some people. Some still women have are delusional. Sex with. I don't, he doesn't have it. Or I won't get it. Yeah, he doesn't have it. I won't get it. I blocked it out of my mind. They just try to take my I man love down. Him. I love. I need this Come money. Come on, man. Whatever. The you reason. see it in their eyes, man. They just be like, "Just take me." <laughs> Got to pour water on them and step out of it. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. It's I mean, real. And, and, and a perfect example of that is we're talking about Justin Bieber. I mean, celebrities just have. It's something about you know. I mean, look at all these reality shows. I, I just, I, I'm sorry, not to cut your point off, but but you did, <laughs> <laughs> really. It's something about the entertainment business because you remember when Mace did the same thing. He was just going doing the most with Diddy and all this, and then all of a sudden he Mace was hot as shit. And then he's a pastor. I think they see a lot of fuckery in this business, and it just blows their mind, and they have to get clean and and give their life to the lord it, it, this is a dirty business you can't give your life to something that never gave you life i mean you know figure speech whatever but Some let's say. figure it out correctly that's uh, all i'm <laughs> saying let's just figure it out correctly 
We'll I mean, you the, if, you the, if you at the what mountaintop, you, I'm trying to understand what you mean by, <laughs> right. by that. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, let's figure it out. What, what did you mean by that? Because she said, "Give yourself to." What did you say? You're you free. know, they become Christian, born again Christians. I'll say. And you give say, yourself to the Lord. Give yourself to the Lord. And the Lord doesn't give babies. The women, the female entity, gives birth. But they say that's all God's doing. But is God a man? I, Good question. I mean, I'm trying to think from last night that he said he said he. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So it, somebody said God was a black woman. So I, don't have I believe that. that. So I believe in the female goddesses, man, and I believe in Mother Nature. I believe in them because I came from, through a woman. So I saw that's what I seen. I didn't see no no dude. I didn't see that dude. Everybody talking about. So you believe. God, I don't believe. I know. You know, God's a woman. I know that. Well, then, how my, did you get here? I Delta. I flew Delta. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, LZ. <laughs> well, we have a call. For what? Did we make them wait long enough? Yeah, we it did. Might be Jesus. Okay. <laughs> it's probably like five tidbits. All right, caller. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up? Modus. Who is this? What's up? Gladman, boy. Oh, Aaron. The man who sent you a T-shirt when he didn't have to. Aaron Gladman. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. How you doing, man? You kind of low today. Mm. Well, why is your, um, why is your, you're, you're on the radio, so why is it you should sound, you sound echoey? I, I don't know. You know, it's Detroit, man. Anything can happen out here. Mm. I don't well, really know. Okay. What I'm do you mean I sound Detroit. low? Your energy is low. Yeah, your energy is low. You kind of you like low dick today. <laughs> <laughs> Put a meme up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how how are you, Aaron? I'm doing excellent, man. I'm I'm really good. That's it. Now, Aaron is a Christian. Allegedly. So, <laughs> let's ask Aaron that question. The TDP, did you hear us talk about the TDP says God is a female? Yeah, I heard that. You disagree? You hear it in his voice, yeah. he disagree. Why? Yeah, I disagree. Well, well, the Bible says, I don't oh, the, Bible. the Bible says what? It's only God one book, huh? Spirit. So he's he's not a male or female, he's a spirit. He's a spirit. <laughs> but it's always <laughs> he's. Yeah, you're right. Look, I mean, when you put two, a man and a woman together, usually the pronoun is masculine. Usually, so God, or is it law? I don't know what I'm saying. No, I what don't. What I'm saying is I God is nothing. the spirit. He's now, I, okay, here's something. Last night, um, Pastor Omer, I wanted to ask you this question, Aaron. He said, <clears throat> um, "Has have you ever in your life, did, you hung up, Aaron? Go ahead. Have you ever made a choice to do something or not do it because you knew God wouldn't like it. Well, he's gone, so you got to answer that yourself. I got first. I got to get my energy up, um, and that's interesting that you can feel somebody's energy. Yeah. That, um, and I, I didn't know. I thought it was okay. It's funny how you, you just, yeah, I'm in that space. Right. Right. So now, can you fake it? No. Can you fake good energy? No. When you're a good person, it's, it's hard to fake it because fake people can fake it and then they're the ones who kill themselves because they couldn't do it no more. So when you're real and your energy is just different, it's like you're going through it. It's like I'm here, but I'm thinking about all this other shit that's just winding in my mind. And it's not pleasant, but I'm still trying to deal. So the energy is low because what makes me happy is I'm dealing with something right now. So that's what makes me happy or makes me it makes you it makes your energy up when you don't have to deal with that stuff. So if I didn't have this stuff on my mind, my energy would be folk yeah, up. Right, cuz you that you ain't got to you know gears are not turning on that trying to fix those problems. When right, cuz I have to make myself get up and shower and go work out. Right. Like I've been working out at and work out Monday, Wednesday and Friday and Monday and Wednesday I went to work out at 10 at 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. And normally it's in the afternoon. Right, 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 right. But 
you know, I was at least glad that I got to go work out, but I just felt. Because if something get kicked out of your routine, then it's a shift. So, so it's an energy shift. Right. And how do you get that? How do you shift back? We have a call. Is this still Aaron again? Yes, sir. What happened? Why'd you hang up? Uh, I don't know what happened. Mm. But look, man, the, the reason I was calling is just to say that I'll be lifting you up in prayer, bro. That's all, you know. That's nice. Look out for each other. And uh, I hate to see you low like that. And uh, I'll just I be... Don't. <laughs> now, now, I'll just be pray- now <laughs> praying you, for you, prayer, prayer, you believe prayer works? Prayer, ultimately... Yeah, works. $100 uh, work better, though. $100. They work better. Now, how's your, how's your family, Aaron? How's everything? Well, everybody's well, man. Everybody's well. Daughter just gradu- graduated. She's looking for an apartment. She's going to be out of my house in a matter of months. Congratulations. Now, yes, sir. How's, the, how's the young man driving? How's- yeah, last I heard you was giving your son driving lessons. Well, that's, I got two sons. That the son I talked about before, he had got his car and he's gone. This is my last. My baby boy is driving now. Okay. Yeah, so you said he was. Uh, do, you said he was doing well. That he. That you think he's he's taken the car a couple times and you didn't know it because he's been driving so well. Uh, yeah, he he is the best the best driver I ever trained. Wow. Maybe because he's been looking at his older siblings drive, mm-hmm. but it, he has, uh, I don't have to give him much instruction at all. Mm-hmm. So does he have good instincts? Yeah, yeah. He's uh, driven on the freeway, and he's doing real good, real mm-hmm. well. Now, is he a, is he a def- defensive driver or, or an offensive driver? Uh, he's defensive. He's kind of, uh, he's really cautious, mm-hmm. you know, always giving people to right away and, that's you know, good. He knows the rules of the road. I'm just proud that, you know, I ain't got no knucklehead driving mm-hmm. on my insurance. Right, right. Now, and he's how old right now? Fifteen. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. So he's got his learner's permit. Yeah, he's about to. He's about, he hasn't even done driver's training yet. I, I like to give my kids my little driver's training before they go into the official driver's training. Mm-hmm. This one going cold. And yeah. uh, he's, well, he's doing better than, than, than all the rest of them. Now, are you a patient uh, teacher? No, no. They tell me I'm not. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you have to say things at the moment. Like, don't turn. Look before you turn. You have to actually get it in there. Mm-hmm. And they interpret it as mis- uh, impatience. But I'm Cut just, through the goddamn have gas station. The hell? You have to get in there. You have to get it in and tell them. Yeah. But uh, that's, you know, but it's, it's okay. They all learning and they're that's doing right. a good job. That's right. Doing a good job. Now, go ahead. Now, Aaron, how do you, when you, because we all go through stuff, what are some of the tools you use to get through it? I pray, man. I pray because I believe that God has, God loves me enough to not want me to be in a sad funk. So if I'm ever in a sad funk, I think about things that bring me out. I go back to, Every day that every, all the days my kids were born, my mm-hmm. wedding day, my mother's birthday, making my mom smile. Uh, I just go back to things that make me happy and it, it brings me out the funk. Mm-hmm. You know, I just I just have never been like a depressed person. I've been sad, but I've never been like perpetually sad. Yeah. But if that kind of stuff happens, I got to grab God. I have to say, hey, God, look, this is not me. I cannot stay in this perpetual state of sadness Mm -hmm. and he brings me out of it Mm -hmm. yes he tdp i hear you you. i'm not i'm not i'm not an interrupter i'm a listener one last question aaron did you um did you win the last game hoop games how'd you do well i I won the first one but the little teenagers wore me down but uh you know i'll be back tomorrow okay i'll be back tomorrow well hopefully they'll start the games faster so are you are you yeah. in the paint? Are you what position are you playing out there? Oh, he in the paint. Yeah, I'm in the paint, man. I'm too big to be running around with them little guys. But the guy they had guarding me, they had to they had to double me down. What? So they left. Uh, yeah, they had to double me, and the guy they left open kept missing. Mm. 
So they had two guys to get rebounds, just me. Okay. That's funny. You so, kept missing. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. coming to the court, show your love for Kareem abdul Candy Bar. <laughs> Hey Aaron, uh, thanks thanks for the prayers. Thanks for Glad calling, man. man. Detroit, Motor no City. Problem. Take care, bro. Please. And Apollo right, Legend. Stay up, man. I will. For Bye. sure. Hey, we're gonna take a break. For uh, what? Um, so I can um, uh, get your energy up. Get my energy up. Uh, yeah, you we'll get be right your back. Energy bar. Yeah, I'm, eating, man. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Really? Dog's got the light. I mean, really? Are we back already? She didn't say one, two, three. <sighs> the song ended. Hey, we're back. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Bella's in there. She's POTUS has this little dog in the studio. A little cute little dog. She don't know how to, you know, do the show and have a dog. She's babysitting. A cute dog, though. Mm-hmm. Cute dog. I mean, I was watching the dog, and the dog was just looks happy. Yeah. And we should put him on the air. Her on the air. She's, she's if his dog's name is Bella, I think it would be a girl, LD. It's not a transgender dog. All right, we'll put her on the air because she seems upbeat and happy. and Because they're not dealing with that baggage, you know? Do, do, do. Uh, okay, I guess animals have emotions. Yeah. You know. They're about, they're about energy. And those, those weren't the kind of dolls Michael Vick had. <laughs> but uh bella seems happy bella is well fed got all our shots and Mm -hmm. you know i mean you see a lot of dogs now with people walking dogs and dogs got the life they got the life they got the i mean i think they've they've jumped in front of cats you know, yeah. You, you, before with cats, you just look like they had the life. I seen one dude walk a cat. One dude had a cat on the leash. Are like you one, serious? Yeah, one dude. I seen him, but the cat was kind of like he's like. I said, "Hey," he said, "I know." He thinks he's a dog. <laughs> before I even got to that, all that he was like, "He thinks he's a dog." Really? And he was really like walking, and he wasn't like you know, holding them up or nothing. He would, he went laying down on him, was trying to get away. He was just really walking like a dog, like. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But I'm, I'm watching. Uh, when I got here early, I was watching POTUS. She ta- she's talking to the dog like dog understands her. They do. Like, come on, Bella. Come on in. So, you know, even when the dog came out, she said, go say hi to TDP. And, and yeah. he went, she went right to you. Yeah. Dogs know. They know, know what? The ener- they know the energy. So Bella didn't come to me because she's like, oh, your energy I mean, you're a little musty. I mean. No, I showered. <laughs> um... Yeah, Bella's a cute dog, but they say dogs really help you too. If you're, you know, sitting, there, I should because they're loyal. It's, it's not about you know you didn't bring me a treat this time or you didn't you know charge my phone. You didn't go get my phone. It's none of that with them. It's just the constant love. So that's why people have them, and a lot of people have them. Yeah, and a lot of people. I saw on social media, a guy was crying because his dog had died. It's tough. It's tough for a lot of people. You know, dog been in the family 12, 13, 14, 15 years, you know. And, and dogs the, have funerals? Some people give dogs funerals, you know. Yeah. They got a pet cemetery out here on Figueroa and um, Carson Street. It's a pet cemetery out there. Well, it's a lot of pet cemeteries. You go yeah. to the right alley, you see. Where do they bury them? Do they cremate them? I'm sorry, Figueroa at 190. <laughs> Yeah, Bella C. See how she barked on that? That's she bad heard, frequency. Oh, she, oh, so she got that noise. Bad frequency. Yeah. Like, bitch? You heard that bark? <laughs> 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 you got to listen to dogs. They'll, they'll talk to you if you listen. You yeah, know. dogs can, I guess, yeah. That's what 190th and Figueroa is a pet cemetery. With headstones and stuff? Pet cemetery, LD. Yeah. We got it out here in the city. Wow. Mm-hmm. So hey, uh, the name of the show is wasn't that Leona Helmsley that left all the the cat million all the money and yeah. all that? Yeah, the shoe girl. Yeah, and, and had the caretaker take care of the, the animals, but left the animals all the money. Yeah. Our phone number is three two three two nine three what three three seven five three two three two nine three 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 seven five is the number. You turn into a thespian now. Look at you, you getting your. 
You turning your motor up? Trying. Don't try, do. See, we gotta stop using words that don't benefit us. We gotta do it. Good point. We're gonna do it. Good point. Now, what do you do? Do you you do you get? I just do, man. I just go. You know, just keep the negative words out and just go. Just you know, you gotta do some quiet time. Close your eyes, let the picture come to you, and you just go. I like I like feeling sun on my face. Mm-hmm. Sit back. The do sun. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys ever try meditation? I just said quiet time. Well, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I never really knew that I was meditating. I mean, do you tell yourself you, you're about to meditate? You know, that's what I'm saying. You don't. You just you just go there and try to quiet your mind. I've been listening to a lot of um, sermons from Pastor Omer. And then listen to, and listen to a lot of gospel and some you know jazz and classical music. You gotta listen to your inner. You gotta listen to your inner you. Not, no and some people forces. say, some people say, you need to go back home, get some of that family energy, and that family love. Mm-hmm. That helps some people. I mean, it's good to walk the old hallways and see your boys, Fat Paul, Peanut, mm-hmm. Boogie. Yeah, they always seem. Uh, Peanut always seems happy. Mm-hmm. You know, Fred is always happy. He works. He's been working in the prison for twenty five years, so he's, you know, um, and and Fat Paul, they're always laughing. Those my boys, they're always laughing. As soon as I land, they they just it's always a lot of good noise. That's the, that's the good joy. Yeah, it's Man. a lot of good noise. Yeah. And, and those cats are those cats are hustling. Right. Those cats are not living high on the hall. They right. they're in the streets right. hustling. Right. You know, Fred has a good life because he's got a pension and he's mm-hmm. you know he's. But Paul, Peanut, and Boogie, they, they they grinding. Everybody's grinding. Whether you think you got that pension or not, it's still a grind to even work long enough to see it. With them not trying to take it from you or get you out of there, you know, you did, we don't we don't get the whole financial package. And at the end, we get the golden parachute. It, it's, that's why it's like you say you from wherever you are. If you know a male. It's going to make it past 18, 21, 16. You know, once you get past those ages, it's like, what do I do now? I'm yeah, that's interesting you said that because I was, I was watching Lou, you know, every day I watch him get up and go to work. It's, it's a reality for him now. It's a grind. <laughs> you know, and, and then, you know, and, and, and I remember our parents used to say, our dads, and I'd say, wait till you, you know, wait till you get out of school. Wait till you. You never miss your water till your well run dry. Yeah, cause and then I was on the way driving back, I was looking at kids, you know, walking with some adults and all that, and, and the kids are just going, they're just bouncing, and mm-hmm. life is good, and 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 the parents had the steady walk, right? You know that this grind, that right. grind walk, right? And 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 you're right, you you don't really appreciate one. You got to thank your parents or whoever raised you that they kept that grind to where you, you can have a, a roof over your head and a place to eat. You raise cattle and corn. Children are reared. Whoever, okay. When you, whoever reared you. All right. You know, you know what I mean? I'm you just got to know these things because these things are very important, man. I'm saying when you get stuck into these things that people don't know on the other side who got it all and, it, you know, the silver spoon and all, and then you say these things to them and they, they treat you a certain way. Oh, they don't. But when you know, they got to treat you a certain way. I can't do him like I do them. He, he don't even allow it. Hmm. So then that way, you know, you get a little bit further into the situation. Then, you know, just being held back and don't know why you're being held back. That's what it is for me. Now, what do you mean they treat you a certain way? What, what, what? If you in the know, they treat you a certain way. If you're not in the know, they're going to treat you like, of what? In the know of whatever it is you're talking about. You should be able to talk about anything on this planet intelligently for 15 minutes, whatever it is. You should have that. So, or you should be able to listen to something and learn it. That's why you got two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you speak. But everybody, so I know already and all, so then you miss your lesson. So whatever somebody tell you something, just like you, I listen. So if I go to sleep at night, then it resonates with me, I go, oh, that's what he meant. I, yeah, I think I could do a better job of listening. That's all I'm saying. Um, th- that, that's interesting. I think um, you might not get it at the at that time, but if you're so negative and, and back and forth with somebody at that time, you miss it. 
If you just take it all in, whether good, bad, or different, and then okay, then you go, oh shit, that's what that was. And you get a pr- be- better perspective of what that pr- other person's did. Man, get a clear understanding, and then that way you can go, thank you, or you can apologize, or right. Okay, good example of that was last week, like dealing with Kevin Tate, and and listening to him act- after the, the the back and forth, and then listening, realizing he's getting himself together and understanding that whole dynamics with his with his girl and the baby. Right, right, He's not ready right. to express that right, yet. Right. No, because you've been there. So him dealing with a four year old, you've dealt you've dealt with a four year old twice and two different genders. So you have that formula. He doesn't have it yet. He's he's just walking through it. So you're giving him what you've been through when he's going through it. So it, it doesn't connect. So to meet that situation like well, didn't this happen at such and such a time? Yeah. Then that's a relatable situation that I can go forward with you. All right. Yeah, because it's interesting. I, I um, When I was going to, last Sunday when I went to church, I saw a guy. Now, what service are you going to, early or late? No, 1145. <laughs> I'm getting up no I, I, Come on, man. 1145. That's what made me go. I'm oh, y'all got 11.45? Oh, like going to the movies. Right, I'm there, 11.45. <laughs> I can do that. That 7 o'clock. Hey, show? babe, it's 11.45 show. You know, they got 7, 9. I, uh-uh, I can't do that. I can't do that. And, 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 and I'm getting there at 12. Um, so I um, it was interesting because a guy I know that. Wait a minute. Let's address that. Now, if the pastor has been there since 7 o'clock. So he knows more of the elders and all that. So, you know, you can't really say no slick stuff with the elders. They was here before you. Right. So that's got to be kind of like, uh-huh, give it to me right. Then you got that. And then, okay, the 1145 is the late people. They was at the club last night. So now it becomes, you ain't, you know what I mean, because I'm dictating to this crowd right now because y'all the late comers. Right. You know what I mean? So let's put that into perspective, too, because we're dealing with the human element. Yeah, he's got game. Thank you. you know, he had 7 o'clock, 9, 30, different game, right. different game plan. And and I see uh, someone I know that's a comic. So the first, this is a three-week period, mm-hmm. so the first week I say, hey, what's up? And then he just gives me, now the, a while back when I saw him, big hug, talk, we talk, whatever. Second, so I see him, hey, what's up? And I, he gives me a quick hey. And I'm like, all right, that was weird. Mm. Okay, that was, that was interesting. And the next Sunday, I go over and say hi and shake his hand, and his, he didn't look me in the eye and all that. Mm. Okay, maybe he don't like me now. And I was going to ask him. Okay. I'm like, hey, man, what's, what's going on? Do you know why you... You didn't what? put enough money in the plate. That's why. No, no, no. I think it's something else. I think it's... Because I remember saying, and I don't think... I think I said it to you guys, that Dino it's Dino Shorte, and I was like, oh, he's gained weight. I didn't really recognize him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't know if that got back to him. Oh, yeah, for sure it did. Because you said it on the show. You said it on the show. Because he was with, um, um, what's it, uh, what's Kente. It? Yeah, Kente. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. That situation. Of course he got back. Oh, Kente was on the, was Kente? He was there when you saw him. Right. And, yeah. And then, you know, that happened. So, yeah. It's going to get back, man. Hey, man. And see, I would have thought as a man, <laughs> man, and knowing you for over 20 years, you would understand that I was, mm-hmm. I would have said that to you, that, yo, I didn't recognize you, you, you. And he knows he's gotten really big. But that's still a sore spot. So whatever he was dealing with or going through, you know, he did that. But you just being you and saying that, you're not saying it out of malice. You're just saying what's the obvious. And that's a problem. So... <laughs> and, I, and I thought about that. It was really interesting. And so I, I said, oh, he doesn't like me no more. Right. You know, and then I start thinking, did you really ever like me? No, because if I'm this weight and you that weight, then you've achieved what I'm trying to achieve. You're there already. So you got the confidence of being in that space that I want to be in. But you're not doing it on the malice situation. It's just like you at that space where I want to be. And that's fucked up for you to say that to me. So now I don't like you, nah, 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 nah. You ain't got to be a rocket scientist to figure this shit out, man. This shit is simple I as shit. I thought that was interesting. And I'm like, but you, you, this is a church parking lot. It don't matter. <laughs> you said what you said, and I'm not comfortable. Yeah. 
People hold grudges for less, a lot less. That that they do. A lot less. You think men hold grudges more than women? Of course. Of course. Hey, man, you didn't hear somebody say, man, that nigga cut my big wheel in the third grade. <laughs> yeah, we be pulling up stuff. Yeah. You did what? Yeah, we be pulling stuff up. Fuck the hole in my big wheel tire. Yeah, humans are interesting. We we pull stuff up from way back. And you're like, because one person never forgets it. And it's petty. And the other person moved on. They didn't even realize petty. that they, they scorned you at that time. Right, 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 right. Wow. And it's, and it's some, like, for us, it'd be like, you still remember that? But then it's stuff that we remember other people did to us. So it's, you know. It, it's interesting too because you say that because we were at dinner one time, mm-hmm. me and the kids and, and their mom, mm-hmm. and I um <laughs> I said uh, we were just talking. I was like, yeah, you know, Lou comes home sometimes smelling white <laughs> because he works around all these white people, you know, in in the cubicles and stuff, and 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 you know, Peyton, I start laughing and. And then I said, she was like, really? I was like, yeah, you used to come home smelling like that. And she's like, yeah, I remember you said that one time to me, and it was on my birthday. And I was like, no, I never said that. Yeah, you, yeah, I'll never forget that. And I'm like, hold up. That's not something I would have said. You open up those can of worms out there, and you get it. That's but how I, I knew, I was like, I would, I, in my mind, I'm thinking, I would never say that on your birthday. You're being defensive. You're being defensive. If they said, you said it on your birthday, you supposed to go what? They right in your mind. You supposed to go. They right. I did do that. You gotta accept what they telling you. Don't try to change it to another day because they're not gonna change it. No. Ride with that. I did that and I apologize for doing it. On that was brain. it. And I was like, yeah. Well, y'all did. Y'all smell white. Y'all, you know. And right, I was like, cause right. Lou will go to work smelling like cologne, but come back smelling like, you know, what they smell like. <laughs> I don't know what they smell like. It's just an odor. <laughs> like what? And I'm sure we have one too. Chicken. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, and the Mexicans have one, and you know, menudo, right? Asians have one. Egg roll. They all and who else? And the Persian, you know, the, those people. That's that hot curry. You know, Jamaican. Everybody has plantain. Yeah, they're 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 um. Yeah, you got a smell. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just what it is. Elders, mothballs. Yeah, older people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Police officers. <sighs> I'm not gonna go there. Yeah. Swine. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shout out to Co Three. That's funny. <laughs> Sitting there in a swine. No. I mean, uh, we just live. We're in. We're in a different time and space now, man. And and the, and the universe is is doing what it want to do and the weather's changing and today is hot tomorrow is cold and it's, it's humid it's, the weather's doing what it want to do yeah this this whole um, yeah she, she's, I was going to ask you something about fact freedom. Code 3 what were you going to ask me um, do you guys ever discuss uh, the issues like some of these police shootings and cases that go on and if you do, do you find her perspective to be different than the average, like, civilian? Yeah, she's on our side. Oh, is she? All day long. But you need to have her you. on um, Ride Along Radio with George and Gil one day. No, she's on our side. So Until she got to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Until she got to shoot you. <laughs> no, she's going Anybody home. can do that. Is she still a, does she, is she, like, in office or does she is she really out on patrol well she, sometimes she has to go out and serve warrants and stuff so oh, wow. yeah she's she's, she's do you gotta, worry about her lou no because she shoot first she coming home mm. she hood she from she from the hood mm. so she might be small and and soft-spoken but she she ain't she she ain't you ain't winning mm. she she's straight hood how long has she been on the police force about 25 years la mm-hmm. i wonder if she knows george does she you know I don't know. Mm. I'm getting all that. I got a funny cop story. What? I'm going to um, 7-Eleven early in the morning. So I'm at the one on Olympic and um, what's that? Um, on the west side of Olympic, right there on that corner. So the cop car is in the um, thing. So if a cop car is in the 7-Eleven, I feel safe. <laughs> right. <laughs> going in, the cops are already in here. Two uh, European females is in there. Right there, they talk about a little thing. They didn't even notice me walking because they got their coffee or they just talking. 
I said, good morning, ladies. They was like, oh, good morning. And so I was getting the coffee and everything. I was staring at it. And she was looking. I said, I wish I was under arrest right now. <laughs> oh, the cop. Oh, they were two female cops. Yeah, they were just talking. You know, like girl, girl talk. Uh-huh. You know, they got the pistols on. Don't get me wrong. But they were just over in the corner. They didn't even noticed me come in. I just said, good morning, ladies. Like, oh, good morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they were just. Yeah, yeah, they they talk. They talk. They they as, or as we say walkie talkies. Walkie talkies. Yeah, yeah, they, they talk. They, they talk. Um. Wow. And um, I also noticed something today that was interesting about um. And and we've we've talked about this before, but I really really noticed it today. I mean, I notice it almost every day because of how many people are on their cell phones. And how preoccupied these people are. Got to have your apps. You got to have your minutes. And you got to I mean, have your... And I was just... Motivation. I was looking at, in the car, how many people were on their phones, how many people were walking. And it's just... And, 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 and I noticed... Um, and this is one of the things that, I don't, I don't want to say upsets me, but I'm, I'm curious to why... Of how we've gotten to this point where people who have babies pushing the carriages or on their phones. Hmm. That and and the nannies. They, no, some of them mothers because you can tell because their okay. bodies you can mm-hmm. see that they just had the baby or whatever. Okay. And I'm just amazed how they have so much trust in American drivers or the drivers how they will cross the street pushing their kid. On the phone. Well, it depends on what part of town you're in. So I'm sure you're on the west side where there's that type of mentality. And they're crossing the street with the phone, and the person in the car is on their phone as well. Right. And that's the thing I was thinking about, Mm -hmm. that nobody's paying attention to anybody. Right. Right. And, and And one of the interesting things that if you blow your horn... Right away, cars start to move because they think you're telling them to go. They think the light is green. And I'm just saying, I'm just like, the kid has no chance. Now, the kid, has, people walk their dogs on the phone. They're like, you. they don't have a chance. You're going to get run over. You're going to get run over. I mean, it's. <laughs> What's making me laugh is to your point is like. Really, today, you can't even drive with your window down no more. Like you said, when you blow in the horn, you somebody blow the horn, you're like, hey, am I fucking up? You right, know? right. You just start, you start moving, you start, uh, oh, oh, no. They was just blow. You oh, know. that wasn't for me. You yeah, know, right. yeah. 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 And, I'm with and you. sometimes you, you flinch because you think it, you, if you in that mood, right. you're like, oh, you blowing your horn at me? And then you feel relieved when somebody else messes up. You're like, oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they. Oh, that horn over there. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, Lou is all about. He'll tell. There's nothing worse than a passenger telling you to blow your horn to make somebody go. <laughs> right, right. And and you know, like Lou, like blow. And I was like, no, I don't. I don't blow. I flick my high beams. I, f- I only blow if to make you not hit me. <laughs> you know, of caution. But or if you're sitting at the light too long. Man, that's hilarious. Cause that's that's what we all right. As soon as that light turned green, if you ain't if you ain't going in that three one hundredths of a second, you're about. Okay. Right. Yeah, you got. Drain yeah. off them brake lights. Yes. It's like it's like we're at like we're at this racing. Like okay, you gotta go. Gotta go. You know you gotta and and I'm just and and in California and I guess it's all over now. You can turn right on red. You better watch. Some some corners you can't. Some corners you no. Can't. They got the they got the the, the, the sign that says no turn no, on no red. No turn on red. But some. you if you on that if you're walking. You better watch stepping out on that corner because yeah. you're gonna get it. You're gonna get clipped. Yeah, I didn't see it happen. You, I didn't see it. You're gonna get clipped. It, it's um. And the goddamn fucking dudes that ride the bike with the goddamn Lance Armstrong uniform. Oh man! They Why just, are you all in the street with on your with your little water bottle and on the phone and ride with no hands and just right and in plus, the lane in the lane? And and I gotta I gotta slow down. I gotta give you three feet by the law. Oh, is that what you have? Yeah, first of the year, that you got to give them three feet. So that's why they all with the arrogancy now. Mm. Yeah, it's a different. Um, and the mopeds, the motorcycle guys. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with them dudes. You know, what I mean, because they're really doing it. I don't have a problem with them dudes, but it's just them bike dudes, like downtown, like even with the messenger dudes on the bike and on. I understand you getting yours and all that, and I, I try to get out the way. I try to, I try to make room for them and all that, but some of these dudes. With the Lance Armstrong shit on and all that, mm-hmm. them dudes are just very disrespectful. 
Because they just in the lane and just on the phone and, and holding the water. You ain't even really working out. You just out here holding up traffic. Right. And, and also in California, because the pedestrians have the right of ways, Correct. these people take it to a whole nother level whole nother of walking level. across the street. They just, you got to stop. Some of them are so, and I, I, and I know it's not against the law, but when you're walking across the street and you're on your phone and you're walking slow, that's so disrespectful. And they don't even look up at nothing. No. You know. Because I used to put my car in neutral and then press the gas. Just go, I, when the kids were young, I used to do it. I was like, watch this. And, boo, and they would they would jerk. I used, I used to like that. I was like, you know. Uh, but now you can. I, I, was, I was wondering if you can if you can go to if that's again if that's breaking the law doing that they have the right away they have the right but no away. i'm saying if you if you put your car in neutral and just scare them no that's not breaking the law i mean you know but the ones who who come at the light late oh man you know what i mean so yeah. you know if it, it, especially when you're on the corners they got the camera light right so you got to deal with that shit so then they they stand on the corner you're like oh you going to go you going to go you going to go okay they ain't going then they want to go right yeah no, 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 no. They, they. Um, we dealing with some serious stuff out here, man. And and serious. That's why I don't like. And that's why I was telling Luke when he tried to get a little attitude. I said, "Listen, that's the reason I don't get up in the morning and go deal with this traffic or the afternoon traffic." For what? I try to do it in time when I know it's not going to be as bad because it's always bad out here. That's one of the reasons I like. And now the with East all the construction, man, it's like it's really bad. Yeah, I, that's why I like the East Coast because there's trap. There's tr- there's there's rush hour traffic and then there's regular traffic. Mm-hmm. California, there's always rush hour traffic. It used to we we did have traffic windows. We used to have those traffic windows where you can get out there from ten to two. Right, not now. Not now. It's, not now. It's full. No, that's why they talk radio does so well. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Because dude. you're sitting in traffic. That's real. Uh, three two three two nine three. For what? Three three seven five. You know we haven't heard from in a long time. That Willie Wonka, what's his name? Sweet Willie Wonka. Joe. Yes, yeah, we haven't heard from him. He's driving trucks. He might be in traffic as well. Oh yeah, well hope he. You is lied well. to me. The boys from Queens, Jamaica Queens. We heard from them in a while. Hope yeah. they're safe. I you hope know? he's good. And that what, what was that girl that used to be? Um, T. Cherie. Yeah, your girl T. Cherie. Is she yeah. in the chat room? She 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 left us. She's in there. Yeah, that's your girl, LD. Yeah, haven't heard from these people. Um, mm-hmm. She's in there. Oh, that was kind of uh, mean. Who? She's she said, what? the bitch is in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to all the people in the chat room who don't have lives. Yeah. Um, they have lives, LD. We appreciate you. <laughs> the, the disclaimer. <laughs> what do they talk about? What are you. they talking about? They talk. They they uh, go along with your conversation. They they say they make comments about what you guys are talking about. What kind of comments are they making now? Well, they're picking up on your energy, which Ooh. everybody thinks you're sad about something. Yeah, your sex change. And some of them said maybe because of uh, you broke up with Code Three or the Carmichael's got canceled. They just coming up with all these things. No, I didn't break up. Um, that's good. <laughs> the Carmichael show did get canceled. So they think I'm sad. Yeah. Are you sad? Let's just go there. <clears throat> Are you sad? I wouldn't say s- what, 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 what could be better in your life? Let's let's put it there. What could be better? Hitting that lotto. Oh. Okay. Um but no. Um I, I guess knowing that um if Carmichael show hadn't gotten canceled, hmm. you know, I mean that's 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 basic. a bummer, huh? Yeah, yeah, because it's you know work. it's a seasonal job, yeah, you know. It's so it's just the grind, it's just the hustle, understanding the hustle. Start over, again. you know. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you know. I figure as long as you can see, think, and breathe, anything is possible. Now, and that's and 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 you 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 say that in the beginning, you know. That's exactly how it's it's funny. It's a it's a build up to that. Mm-hmm. You know, you say, okay, cool. Um, I'm going to always prepare for what I need to prepare for. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to put that away, put that away, put that away, and I'm going to, okay, fine. Now, okay, yeah, the show got picked up. No, it didn't. Then you say, all right, it's cool. Something else is going to pop up. Um, I believe in you. Uh, you know, it's mm-hmm. going to happen. This is going to happen. Stay positive. Then another week goes by, another week goes by, 
and you start you start challenging yourself saying ah okay but are you doing anything to move toward it like i feel like if you're waiting for it to happen it's just gonna be yeah yeah it's you're just still gonna you, you're just gonna be waiting no. but if you're doing each day a step no matter what, if it's a small step a big step or even thinking about it intensely whatever your goal is i think when you move toward toward it the energy moves toward it as well and i i because there's been days that i'm like i don't know <laughs> not about you <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make it, but every day I'm doing something toward the goal. Yeah, and I and I think you're absolutely right. I think a lot. I think I don't think my situation is isolated. I think everyone yeah, in yes. this world mm-hmm. thinks up. Even if things are great for you, you're still thinking. I mean, because you look at people who have all the money, famous and all, and then they still it's, jump it's, off. It's not about the money. What it's, is it about? The money is the game. It's it's the living. Yeah. To live in. Yeah, because some of the richest people in the world are the most miserable, unhappy, empty, lonely. Ask Steve Jobs. Ask him. Can't ask it. Yeah, he did. That's what I'm saying. He didn't get to make 56. And this dude had all the money you could ever want. That's their health. You can't buy health. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, uh, to me, there's nothing better than a peace of mind. And, and that's funny because that was my 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 quote-unquote prayer was just to be healthy was to say god just let me get my weight back Mm -hmm. let me be healthy let me uh eat let me work out Mm -hmm. let my kids stay healthy and let me find someone that i can care about Mm -hmm. and all of that's there right the dude came yeah (laughs) (laughs) you're on a nice little run there that was funny that was funny but um so tell the people in the chat room um thank you i know um None of them are praying for you. What are they doing? Making memes. I'm about to put this <laughs> Aaron meme up in a second. See what I'm saying? <laughs> they gonna pray for you, but they ain't gonna see you no money. But you know the good thing is you bring joy to other people's lives. Well, People love this show. They love <laughs> the comedy. They, you know. So we, we bring joy to other people's lives. Who is lives, we? So that's good. Yeah, yeah now Who is she, we? Yeah. <laughs> you got a frog oh, in your pocket? I ain't got pocket? nothing to do with it. <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> B- Bella, come here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buy her. Um, but uh, so thank you. Uh, I know Aaron's going to get us. Um, it is. Uh, we have about a half hour to go. Um, we uh, in um, John Lemon's news. What's going on in the news? Well, we um, know the um, Obamacare is still in. Um, oh, they got uh, the yeah. skinny bill didn't pass. Uh, John, everybody's. Praising John McCain because he voted no. He was one of the Republicans, one of the three Republicans that said no, voted no. Um, um, I forgot the, the the new communication director is on one. Mm-hmm. He's you know it's just it's just interesting what listening. To they these, should talk about Russia. Uh, it's it's kind of on the back burner with okay. this whole um, the chief of staff and the communicate new communications director going back and forth. Okay. And he, my man thinks he's like he's an Italian guy and he really thinks he's on the Soprano. You can tell he watched the Sopranos. <laughs> I know he said somebody can suck their own dick. I mean, what is what? Yeah, he but he used the white boy's phrase. Cock. Penis? Yeah. Cock? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cuz he in, and that's the interesting thing cuz in Philly where I grew up cock is a woman's you, thing. I'm with you. I'm it's with not you. A, it's not a penis. Uh-huh. So, you know, that's 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 very Shout interesting. Shout out to my nigga Johnny Mac. Feathers! We hung out a couple of weeks ago. How's Johnny Mac doing? He's good. I'm working on him. So, okay. we at the bar, right? So, the lady was like, you guys want some cocktails? And Johnny Mac, you said, I said, look, Johnny Mac, look. We don't drink cocktails. We drink coochie tails. I would say, you better not bring me no goddamn cocktail either. <laughs> he said, they've been tricking us all this time. <laughs> Johnny Mac is funny. He's, Feathers! He's funny. Um, so, listen, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Um, For what? Because um, I have to go to. You got a tinkle? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. We'll be right back. Good for her. 
Yeah. Oh, we're back. Uh, yeah. We were praising a young lady. Yeah, we were talking about air. Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. Congratulations. I haven't seen the film yet, but everyone says. I haven't says seen it either. Everybody says it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, so she stole the movie. It's not streaming yet on Fire Stick. Um, really? <laughs> You're going to jail. Yeah, that was a funny. Uh, Aaron did that memes with me and OJ in jail. That was stupid. <laughs> oh, you ain't seen the new one? No, what new one? <laughs> My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Put it up. What What's is that? Oh, wait a minute. My bad. Really? <laughs> so excited. Look, so excited to embarrass you. Didn't you push the right button? This <laughs> is a new meme? Brand new. Hot off the presses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In a sad world with Lou Dix. Okay, that's... That's funny. Where do you get them jeans from? Yeah, the je- those are loose jeans. <laughs> and, and look how small my feet are. That's funny. <laughs> and how big your head is. Yeah. Wow. And, and the headphones. That's funny. I'm all uneven. That's funny. That's funny. That's pretty funny. That's your mood, LD. That's, That's pretty you. funny. That's pretty funny. See, now with social media, you can see your mood now. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't. They can dress your mood up. That's amazing the things that you can do on, on on social media. It's amazing. I can't do any of that. But you learn how to what you say, crop? You learn how to um No, I can't you know how some people put like two or three pictures. Oh, I, a slideshow. I can't I can't do any of oh, that. Oh okay. I can't I can't do any of that. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I can see my muscles though. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a I've it's seen a, bigger muscles on the plate. That's a muscle there. It's getting there. Oh, you're getting your energy back. Yeah, it's, it's oh. getting there. It's coming. It's coming. It took a while. Same thing she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, Aaron. Uh, if I knew how to do it, I'd get you back. I'd do a meme. <laughs> Don't with, you hate that part? You yeah. just got to accept it. Yeah, I'd, I'd do a meme <laughs> with your son driving and you on the back holding on or something. Um, you just got to draw something and just hold it up to the camera or something where you can get them back. I didn't do well in art. You didn't? No, my son oh. and daughter can draw. Okay. Lou, Lou can draw really well. Mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't draw. Um, but um, your uh, what's the name of the show? In a man's world, I'm, tighten up your belt. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP and um, John Lemon is on assignment of yeah, hustling, getting his grind on. Um, I, I spoke to, to to Jeff the other day. He, interesting guy. He's he's, mm-hmm. he's he's interesting. He was trying to get me to come out of the club and have a beer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Excuse me. He wanted me to meet him at this comedy place. Mm-hmm. Have a beer. Yeah. I Some said, suds. I said no. No? Um, it was um, a Law and Order marathon. Going on. That's your show. And, that, uh, Sweet Sugar. What's that Queen name? Queen Sugar. Queen Sugar. Man, they did a lot of crying uh, Wednesday. Mm. A lot of crying. Um, and then Ralph all Angel. these um, these um, videos of these women across the country going crazy because Ghost is out of jail. Now, what is... What is <laughs> the dude from the, Power. Oh, so that's not a real person? No. It's the dude from the Because they were like, OJ, first OJ gets released and then Ghost. So <laughs> yeah. that's, I was yeah. like, who, what, what did, who did Ghost kill? So Ghost is a... He's that powers, man, people are man, going crazy. The girls, man, they 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 going crazy. Like, all the deliverable... Oh, they let my man out and out. Now, it's Ghost... They like ghosts because of what? What what is his character? It's the power. It's the power. It's the power of the ghost. Yeah. He's a real person. Ghost is a is a, a character. It, that's the character's name on the series. That's like you said, what it was like, um, OJ out and ghost and all this and all I thought like, ghost was a real person. <laughs> no. How are you gonna equate <laughs> how are you gonna equate That's the society we live in now, L D. That's real for them. That's real. They said my man been locked up. He been locked up for uh, five episodes, not five years, five episodes. <laughs> and that, that's 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 amazing to me because they're putting Blurred they're putting lines. more into that than maybe their real man at home. Mm. Now they do been locked up for five episodes, not nine years like OJ did. Five episodes, this dude been locked. And up. And some of these people would would send money on his put money on his books. I'm sure they probably did, LD. I'm sure they probably did. What does that say about us as as a society? That that's real. Because I don't have any friends. I'm, I got my social media and then my shows that I like, and I'm I'm 
I'm locked into this world right here. It's safe. I can control it. I can block whoever I want to block. I can put on blast who I want to put on blast. I control it right here. I can control everything. I am the puppet master. As opposed to the real stuff. To the real world where you got to get in and fit in and all that. No. That's, that's too much for some people. Some people can't come out the house and deal. They just can't do it. Can't do it. I'm going to stay in my own little world and, you know, say what I got to say, uh, look at what I want to look at it. Judge who I want to judge, you know, man. Yeah. It's safe. Yeah, because I guess when you're in the real world, there's repercussions behind that. Right. Just you like you find somebody who don't like you because you said that they're big. Right. In the real world. <laughs> but you can say somebody's big on, on Atlanta Housewives or something. Or, right. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Or Love and Hip Hop. That's a show that they watch. Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. And these people think they... Man, that's interesting. Yeah, you can only cast it, but you know, in the real world, you got to cast and reel it in. You got to, got to capture what you catch. Oh, you mean cast and reel it in? Yeah. Got mm-hmm. it. Got it. Um, wow. Three two three two nine three 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 seven five. It's MorrisMediaLive dot com. In a sad world, low dicks. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice that part. Low dicks. I thought it was low dicks. I told you it was coming, man. Low dicks. It don't take time. That's low. That's low, Aaron Gladman. Aaron, I can't even think of a meme for him. Aaron. A bad um, bad driver. Bad driver's trainer. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, so, how are the people in the chat room? I would not see. It'd be interesting to talk to these people. But you don't like their names. Do you have a problem with their names? What are some of their names? Okay, we have a retired player, 562. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. At Apollo Legend. Retired player? <laughs> Just on the name alone. <laughs> Reti- so, I'm thinking like a ball player. But reti- he could, where, where, where were you getting from it? Oh, I thought he was a player how many player. Number, how oh, many, player player. No, how many numbers in this? 562? That's Long Beach. <laughs> okay, but then that, that's not an athlete. That's an area code. I'm, I'm a retired player. He got holes player. in every area code. That's where Nate Dog is from. It could Come be on, a man. player that's from the Long Beach. Goddamn ghetto Luther Vandross. Rest their power. <laughs> Nate Dog. That's right. Um, Bailey Price. That's a real person. That sounds uh, like a South and Southern Gent. Southern Gent. Black mm. Toenail. Hey. <laughs> Now, who would nickname himself Black Tone? Now, is that considered a X nickname? X is in the building. Shout out oh, to X. A double Apollo legend. <laughs> double X Apollo is. Legend. He said you put more people to sleep than Bill Cosby. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That was, K-29 that was is in the building. Shouts out T. Cherie. That's your girl. T. Cherie. Yeah, she's hanging in there with you. She's a cutie. I don't even know what she looks like. Oh wow! But she sounds like she's cute. Mm. I don't see your girl. I mean, her I don't see your girl Seymour in the building. Mm. Seymour worked out this morning. So I saw you her. See oh her? damn! You stalk her, don't you? No, I like her. She's why cool. your voice so high? Oh, hilarious! <laughs> no, because she put her work in. She should be. She she work out. Yeah, yeah. She, it was the first time in three weeks dealing with seeing her trainer or something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she, the girl uh, ride twenty six miles on a bike. I mean, and I, she said she was doing. Man. She was hanging and doing crunches. I don't understand how this woman doesn't have a someone to love her. But then again, that's just that's what a lot of women are going through. There's not a lot of men out there that's worthy of these women, man. That's just real. Yeah, because she's a real. Christian too, right? Who knows? Christians fuck too. They suck dick too. So I, 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 when you said that, I heard her voice laughing. <laughs> you know, TV, TV, that's so silly. But that's real, man. I, we. You try to put yourself in these in these religious bubbles, like like cut it out. You got to go to the gas company like everybody else. You got to go to the mall like everybody else. You got a boo boo like everybody. But else. she seems like a nice person. You can be nice, but it's still a yin and a yang. No, I was just saying not the the religious part, but just as a person. Yeah, right. she works out, and it's it's got to be a guy that works out that she's she she. I wonder but if she every just, time that don't click, that don't click. Well, it's what clicks? Opposites attract. Opposites really attract. They do. Because if somebody's doing the same thing you're doing, it's, it's boring. And then you're looking for an out. You're looking for some type of, some type of manip- manipulation in the situation. You, you're looking for that. Hmm. 
Opposites attract. If she like all that, I'm going to like it with you. If I like all that, you like it with me, though. Cool. We have a call. For what? Go ahead, call her. Hi, this is Seymour. Oh, hilarious. (laughs) 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 That's funny. (laughs) She was hanging upside down. She she got right there. Yeah. Got out that bat position. Yeah, she, <laughs> land my feet. <laughs> she did. She did one more crunch and said, "I got to talk to him." Right, right. No, there. Uh, you hang by um, your arms and tuck your feet in, mm. so they're like hanging crunches. Okay. Oh, I they're see. Very difficult. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, and two weeks ago, I actually cycled seventy-five point four four miles. I did the Katy Flat Land Century Ride. Bitch. But I was upset because I was trying Bitch. to get 100. So I'll take that. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> 75 miles. 75.44 miles. How long did oh, that take you? I was the last person on the course. Wow. They have a truck that would be called the SAG, <laughs> which, is, um, <laughs> which is like equipment and gear. They're like, do you wanna you wanna stop? I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep going. You're gonna be the last person on the course. The course closes at four. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> and I just kept cycling, so it was cool. But Lewis, you're not. Wait a minute, hold not- up, hold up, hold up, see boy. You slow down, Turbo. Now at mile forty eight, well, what's going through your mind? Like, what are you thinking about? What are you concentrating on? Oh my God. Praying. I I, I just kept saying to myself, honestly, I can do all things to Christ Jesus strengthens me. Oh, wow. I just kept saying that it was hot. I got to my car, it was 103. And mm. we're in Texas, so it's very humid. Yeah. Uh, but it's a very well-supported ride. I did it last year. I did what they call a, a metric century, which is like mm, 62. I did actually 67, so a little over a metric century. Mm. And I'm trying to get what they call my first century ride, which is 100 miles. So I was kind of upset, but then my mom was like, girl, you cycle 75 miles? People can't ride you know, seven miles. You're gonna be glad you got seventy five. So I'm thinking about doing the Grand Fundo up in Dallas and mm-hmm. it's sponsored well, Emmett Teal organized it. Not Emmett Teal, sorry, Emmett Smith. Uh, Emmett Teal is the city, sorry. <laughs> I was about to say I was about to say was, em, Emmett Teal did a lot of things we didn't know about. Oh my god, that's why later this year. Emmett Smith, I'm oh, sorry. Emmett. But I just wanted to call in and say hi. I didn't get to call in last week, but I did listen to the show. Poetess, I'm so proud of you. Lou, what's wrong? Thank you. What? She what's said Lou is wrong. Oh, no, no. Am I? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I, I was. Don't lie. She's asking you. She's being heartfelt I'm with you. You see how her heart. energy is? Her energy is always like Man, so she knows she, something's wrong with you. I think Lewis got a little lightweight crush on Seymour. More than no, lightweight. So. He said she's oh. always. Just look how he she's, said that. No, I, I she's like her. Always. She's a nice His girl. His lip quivered right there. <laughs> no, Seymour is. <laughs> Don't make and you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to say this. I've been knowing Lou a while now. It's very few females that he really likes. So wow. consider that oh, an wow. honor. <laughs> Seymour. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seymour. I like You remember how Lou used to go so hard on girls? I like Seymour. <laughs> I like Seymour's spirit. I think yeah. she works hard. I think mm-hmm. she's focused. And she I'm seems fine. like she seems like an and she's got short hair. I like her through you. That's how much you you know what I mean? You made me like her. I didn't even <laughs> like her at first. You were talking <laughs> You took your shoes off of talking so glowing about her. I was just like, yeah, he don't make me like her. Follows her, knew she worked right, out. He this came morning. here blowing bubbles. Damn, oh, Seymour. No, <laughs> that's what happened. Y'all are hot mess. Yeah, she's. But no, I just cool. wanted to call in and say hi. Um, I was a little late dialing in, but I'm in the chat room too. Okay. And I'm just proud of everybody. I'm glad to see um you all on the air and told I'm just so very proud of you. And just wanted to say hi. Thank okay. you. I appreciate your support. All right, Seymour. Hey, you. Do you, do you, how often do you floss? <clears throat> oh my God. How often do I floss my teeth? Yeah. What else do you I don't I don't do it every day, but I should. Um, but I've never had a cavity, so I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> so, that that's nice. okay. how often do you fall? Uh, it's time to play our game. <laughs> <laughs> you stick something that's in my mouth, I'm going to stick <laughs> something in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a guy ask me that before. 
I know. I just 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 came. He's up. not your average guy. Hey, listen, Seymour. Uh, be safe out there, and thanks for cheering us up. You're a beautiful yeah. person. Take care. Well, I appreciate that. Y'all have a blessed day, and enjoy your weekend. Okay. Thank you. Now remember, all Seymour. Right. You can do all, all right. things with my weenie inside of you too. <laughs> Bye, Peter. Oh, I'm Peter. Peter. I'm Peter on the prowl. Oh, God, Peter. Seymour and Apollo Legend. Oh, God. She, uh, she, she's, she's a cool person because she, she can receive all that right. stuff. And, Some and people just, they so negative in their receive. life. Receive? I just... don't know if that was a good word. <laughs> well, I mean, she, she just, you know, she, she doesn't take things so literally. I mean, she just... Right. She just has seems a good like, sense of humor. Exactly. Yeah, she seems like I mean, she reminds me of the girls I grew up with, you know, in Philly. Mm-hmm. They were they can always they could clap back. They were nice. They 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 were cheerful. And they make you tacos. And did you hear what Amber Rose said that? No. that yeah, I heard the women stu- in Philly don't look like her. No, the they, women in Philly are ugly. No, they look better than her. And they're not laying around. They're not selling every. And because I heard one girl had a really good comeback. She said, um, "No." She was saying that all girls in Philly aren't HO garden tools like her. Mm. I mean, she just she's just running out of things to say. And that's yeah, just that, what happens. Cause I never Eve, really got Eve that whole campaign. That's yeah, I mean, campaign. you know, Eve's from Philly. It's a lot of beautiful women. Amber Rose is just. Can I say this? What? I watch Parking Wars where they write tickets and all. Mm. There's a show, Parking Wars, Philadelphia. There's some pretty girls. They'd be going to that little, the little traffic court little thing up in there. No, there's some fine women in Philly. <laughs> yeah. some fine like the Beautiful regular ones. women everywhere. Yeah. Regular she ones. Just, I'm like, she oh, just, they kind of She nice. just, she needed attention. I mean, that's the whole thing nowadays with these celebrities with no talent. I mean. The shock and awe. Stars. Yeah. I mean, shock and awe. Yeah. It's like she, she say something so people can, people troll her, put it out there and repeat it. And, and then she, now you'll. She'll get more followers. So is Angelina that. Jolie an attention seeker? Because she just came out with another medical situation and all that. She, she was has speaking. bell palsy. I don't know. What is that? What is that? They, oh, they said when your side of your face droops. Mm-hmm. And it's pro- probably bought on by stress. Mm. She's been I, going through what? her divorce. And what, what, what I find weird about her, she had everything removed. She had her breast removed, her ovaries, in fear that she might get cancer. That she held the gene. She's the, she's like the scarecrow. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I did she have a mastectomy and vasectomy and all? Was that what that? All that? Was that? I don't know what's going on with that woman. That, mm. I mean, I mean, I go back to the fact that she snatched Brad from the other girl, right? Yeah. So karma's, you know. I mean, is John Voight her father? Angelina Jolie is John Voight her father? I think so. I think so. Because they're not speaking or something. Right, right. Weird. Weird girl. But I'm sure she's a lot of fun on Halloween. Um, but see, that's, 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 that's like we talked about shows past. Yeah, John Voight's her dad. That's like we talked about shows past. You get to develop that entitlement behavior and that mentality and, and push forward and say what you want and say you are and everybody else is not. You know, it's... You get that. We just hoping and praying and, you know, and mm-hmm. head down and all that. I, I can't ride with that mentality. We don't never give the energy to each other. We give it to somebody we ain't never met. Your mom ain't never met. Your grandma ain't never met. I mean, really. Like, when? Come on. Let's let's believe in each other for See, one. See, I, I'll I roll with Seymour before I roll with Angelique. Oh, Joe. I would love to roll her. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's that's you know what I mean that's the beauty of it you know you got somebody call in and and give you a little a little ray of sunshine in your life for whatever it is you know it's like well they called and they did think about me you know that's, that's a beautiful thing even when you still got to go out here and deal with what you're dealing with you got those moments you know yeah that's true um but I got. Hey, that's another thing. You you got you feel you feel blessed enough to to shout. I got to talk to my mom this morning. Shout out, and nice. you know, my heart goes out to people who who can't, who wish they they'd right. give anything to be able right. to pick up the phone and talk to their right. mothers. So all of you who are going through that, uh, peace to your heart. Um, you got to count your, your blessings. You got to count um, like you said, like you know, you're healthy. You're on this side of the dirt. You know, you get the talk to your kids and see them and have somebody who truly cares about you. Um, right. 
That could be you, the ambulance. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> Passing by. Don't revive them. Leave them alone. <laughs> oh, right. I had a great. I had some oh. some salmon and rice last night. That, what? That, that um, a lovely lady cooked for me. So that was cool of her. Salmon and rice. No yeah. vegetable. She wanted me to eat spinach, but I, I can't do it. You're just being rebellious on the do vegetables. You like greens? Yeah, but code. I mean, she she's a spinach person. Mm. She's always that's sauteed. the white folks' greens. <laughs> what? <laughs> spinach? Um, but it was a good spinach dinner. Is good. She she put it together. You didn't have a salad? You didn't have a salad? She wanted me to have salad and I just said just give me the salmon and rice. And um You said it like that in a stupor? No. 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 You were it slopping around in your house shoes? No, I don't have house shoes there. Oh, okay. And um but I did um and then I watched uh, Queen Sugar. We watched Queen Sugar. Mm-hmm. And she does what she does all the time. Fall asleep. On you? She always falls asleep. Well, you're not romantic enough. She's you got to keep her awake. That girl be gone. That girl. I mean, I've never met anyone that falls asleep. I mean, honestly, less than seven seconds. I mean, look it at takes you. Her. It takes her less than seven seconds to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. And then always claims that she's not falling asleep. Seven. I timed her. I sat there and timed how quick it takes her to go <sighs> out. She snores. No, I meant I was just doing no, that. No, she snores. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She does. You she gotta take her gun and shoot it off. Pow, pow! Get your ass up and give me some. <laughs> <laughs> gotta live a little, LD. <laughs> no. Gotta turn it up. No, um, um, but she, she's. Uh, I, I, it takes me. I. Do you know when you fall asleep? Are you? Can you fall asleep? I can't. I'm a night owl. Me too. Yeah. I'm a night owl. Yeah. So I fall asleep as soon as the sun is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Get in my coffin. Um, so listen, um, it was um, a good day. Yeah, good, uh, yeah. We thank everyone in the chat room for listening and everyone else who's not in the chat room who's out there listening. Retired player! Shout out to Doc, uh, who's... Um, daughter went to Marlboro and who's from Oaktown and knows Marcus King um, Dr. Oscar mm-hmm. he listens to the show I didn't even know it oh they the doctors from the Bay right yeah mm-hmm. and um, he's good friends with King yeah um, shout out to you if you're listening thank you um, he sent me a great uh, little propofol no oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can only wish <laughs> take this every day so um, we're um, going to push forward. See you guys Friday. John Lemon should be back. Um, Allegedly. Mm. Keep listening to Morris Media. You got some interesting shows on the G Spot. What is that about? That sounds well, sexual. That's hosted. Well, G Spot is mainly for girl spot, but the, they change it up every week. G stands for something every week, but mm. it's uh, Precious and Camara, and they're gaining on you guys. They're, they're women. They're supposed to. Like, oh, come on. Okay. Let's just be honest, okay? Oh, okay. See how y'all try to play us? <laughs> well, you know, well, let's turn it up a notch, LD. Let's, okay, let's, they're gaining. <laughs> that's because they got to change the G every time. We keep our in a man's world to what it is. We wish Precious oh. and Camille luck. And that G stands for gotcha, bitch. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going to be all you today. <laughs> <laughs> We wish, you know, they, they, they're they coming up on us. We're all one family. So and just nah, like that other guy. Nah, nah, we are. That other nah. guy who said he was going to beat us, we haven't heard from him. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> one down. <Okay. laughs> he ain't going to never beat you. And what's that other show that, that come on here? Uh, <clears throat> what's the show on Thursday nights? Gang Talk? No, no. Ride Along Radio? No, I don't know. What the... What the no. Thursday nights? You got another show with, a, with the girl on the Sunday or something? No, we have one show on Sunday, but um, who's on the Thursday, show on a Sunday? Who's the show on Sunday? Phil and Friends. Phil and Friends. That's the show that's not gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one show with a girl, the host, um, brown skin girl, Carol. Oh, um, Ashley, the scoop with Ashley. Right. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. That picture doesn't look real. She's actually a, an attractive young lady. Let she has you really tell it. Good guest. Yeah, she's good. Mm-hmm. Women, w- women have a. When women say another woman's attractive, it's a whole. It's a whole other thing. Whole other thing. Yeah. What like it, what? 
you you guys could be talking about. Because y'all take into consideration that they they parked the car nice. Y'all yeah, or they, all they that have good. They got good shoe polish. I mean, nail, nail polish. polish. Yeah, you know, y'all take just, all that into consideration. No, Ashley is pretty together. I I admire her. She's she's got her shit together. She has a good job. She drives a nice car. She travels. See. She dresses nice. See. I think all Kent, the, Kent, all the, Kente had all a the, little lightweight crush. All on the him. mundane things. Where is Kente? Is he still around? He's still doing around, doing his comedy and stuff. Is he ever on your shows? He hasn't been up, but he called into uh, Kamara and them show about a week. Okay, after, so he must ago. have heard. What? When we, when we, he must have been listening to the show, and told Dino Shorte that I said. I mean, I figured that out. Earlier, and so, I'm glad you had a light so bulb moment. So you think Kente was the snitch? <laughs> I don't think I react, LD. So Kente, if you're listening, um, I tell I didn't mean to offend Dino Shorte, and if you told him that because I never heard of him. Who's Dino? Dino Shorte is is a comedian, <laughs> a writer, and and um, you know him, oh, now he's gonna be mad at me because <laughs> I never heard of him. No, I've always, no, I've always <laughs> called him. Dino I got Shorte. another person to hate, <laughs> but. Um, so I don't know if he's mad at me. Uh, Kente, uh, call in, let us know, because they do a comedy show at the at the Faithful Central. Oh yeah, they do church comedy. Yeah, and I'm I'm clean, and I I mean I think I got booked once, but oh. and I'm just curious to what if that's why Dino Shorte didn't really speak to me. Well, so they do they do comedy at the church? How do you know he wasn't having a bad day and it didn't have it was, anything to do with it? It was two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you and reminded then, him too. And then, I, and then I shook his hand, and he didn't look me in he the gave eye. You the dead, the dead, the de- limp wrist. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't Donald Trump you. Hysterical. You see how Donald Trump right? He damn near pulls your arm out of sight. Yeah. So, um, so Kente and 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 I never said anything, and it started making me think about people that I I've said something about, and I'm like, okay, you got a long I, list, LD. But yeah. most of the time, I've said it to their face. It doesn't matter. You got a long list. So I haven't. Kente, I sh- should be cool with because I haven't said anything. I like him. And I like Dino Shorte, too. And what made me think about it is I found this little letter that Dino Shorte wrote me like 20 plus years ago. Oh, oh wow. I, I, no, no, no. It was a thank you card. I was directing you said him. said a letter. No, it was a thank you card. Page seven. No, and I directed him in this play, and he was telling me. Thank you and all that stuff and, mm-hmm. and it was and I was like and I was going to take it and show it to him, but then after I you blew that yeah after after I got that what if he would have took it and ripped it up? <laughs> oh, I've been saying this all this time. You're an asshole. <laughs> Sometimes you do things unintentionally and people may take it the wrong way. And well, definitely because I I didn't you know. That's funny though, but I always it's always curious to me how it gets back to someone, and if it's if it's embellished by the time it you know. Of that, course, of nobody's course, gonna yeah. nobody shares happy stories. It's always girl, you hear this? No matter, you, you can that. tell one story and then it'll be translated a hundred different ways, different perspectives. But or always, or they could have never negative. really liked you. It's always a negative. Yeah, that's true. Just like if you write the Bible, you gonna write it in your favor, right? Yeah, so to speak. So whoever writes a the book, they're gonna write it in their favor. And whoever writes the forward for it is gonna the favor. Tell them it's gonna be a good book. Yeah. Well, listen. Um, shout out to uh, all the people who um, <laughs> I said thanks to. <laughs> that long list. Again, uh, thanks Seymour for calling, Aaron Gladman, and um, Sylvester. Out of Florida, hot Florida. Sylvester. Sylvester. And everybody in the chat room, thanks a lot. And and we're out. See you next week. I'm Louis Dix. TDP.